this wasn't just somebody who designed Central Park and, and gave birth to the landscape architectural profession, which he also did. He was a profound visionary whose ideas about democracy and the development of our country were completely hinged to, uh, 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 you know, ideas about stewardship of nature yeah. and the care of the environment. And he built that notion to the point that by the turn of the century, Teddy Roosevelt and others were really so serious about it that we now have this extraordinary national park system in this country. Why is he buried in Hartford? Because he was born in Hartford. Was he born in Hartford? Yes. And he was a parishioner in in in, in uh, Horace Bushnell's church. See, and Horace yeah. Bushnell, who had yeah. had this kind of notion that he put in place. You know, he was the one that lobbied for the formation of Bush, what is now Bushnell Park. Right. And uh, uh, he was young, older than. Olmsted and Olmsted was picking up. This is another Bushnell Park predates Olmsted. Right, I know that. I know that story. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and but Olmsted is sort of drinking this water, and, yeah. and again, a lot of it has to do with managing this intersection between industry, capitalism, yeah. and faith. And and Hartford excelled at that like nowhere in America. Practically. I feel like that's just lost oh, now. It's totally lost. <laughs> oh yeah. It's gone.